They're all uh, possible, but uh, we're not going to discuss them now. I just want to follow up on Jill's question. What about mm -hmm. the, the alleged plot that Iran hatched against a uh, terror plot in, in Bahrain? Do you have any information on that? Oh, uh, wait, what are you referring to? I'm not, I'm oh, well, the, the, Bahra the Qataris have uh, apparently discovered a terror cell that was planning to attack targets uh, in Bahrain, an Iranian cell. Do you have any information that the Bahrainis or the Qataris share information with you? On uh, we, we, we've certainly, uh, we're, I'm aware of the, the story. It's certainly uh, very serious allegations. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, as we've said many times, Iran uh, is not playing a constructive role in the region. Uh, and this would be further indication, uh, if true, that uh, uh, that they're not playing a constructive role. Uh, but uh, I'll try to get more details for you. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead, come in. Um, can you update us on the, the State Department's efforts to um, to convince Congress not to stop funding to UNESCO? I'm sorry, we to do to, to to not stop funding for UNESCO on our yeah. efforts. I just would say that, uh, as we said last uh, week, that uh, we continue to consult uh, with Congress, uh, um, you know, on this matter. I'm not going to get into the substance of this. On Burma, uh, the National League of Democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi is planning to contest elections in the country, and the new government is trying to remove hurdles in the way. How do you see the development there? I'm sorry, one more time, you said that she's the, the she new government She's planning to contest elections, reports coming from the uh, Burma says. Well, uh, you know, uh, we've seen some positive uh, developments or, or signs from the, uh, from the government in, uh, in Burma. Uh, we've, uh, we've had some good discussions with the government. Uh, we have uh, said that we want to uh, see uh, uh, concrete and positive steps. Uh, including uh, the release of all political prisoners. Uh, and we also uh, would like to see an opening up of their political system there. Are, are, given all these developments, are you reviewing uh, the sanctions that you have on Burma or trying to lift any one of them as an incentive to the Burmese government? I, I think we've, uh, you know, as we've said, we believe that uh, our discussions thus far have been uh, positive, they've been constructive. Uh, but we're looking for uh, for more concrete action. So uh, these uh, steps are not enough for the Burmese government to lift sanctions? Uh, no, I think I just said that we're looking for more steps. Hey, go ahead, Joe. Then I'll get back to you. Foreign aid. Um, it's not looking good for the State Department up on Capitol Hill. How concerned are you about the potential cutbacks and, and the fact that it's become really an issue um, in the among the Republican candidates for president? Well, uh, Joe, uh, certainly we're concerned about, uh, you know, limiting uh, uh, foreign aid uh, and about the many misperceptions that still exist among the American public uh, about, uh, you know, the amount of uh, American tax dollars or the budget that goes to, uh, uh, to uh, foreign assistance, uh, you know, when it's in fact uh, less than 1 percent of the budget. Uh, and it's less than 1 percent that, uh, that we believe yields uh, tangible uh, results around the world that advance our national uh, security interests, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, assistance to uh, developing countries throughout the globe or disaster relief, uh, you know, however that assistance is used, uh, it's always done in a, in a way that, uh, that uh, tries to promote uh, U.S. national security interests. So certainly we're concerned and we're making that, uh, that case to Congress every day. Anything else? Well, I'm just wondering why those misperceptions continue if you're making that case. I mean, you know, for as long as I've been in the Foreign Service, those misperceptions have continued. I, you know, it's, uh, uh, you know, we, we've got to continue to, uh, uh, as you said, to, to make the case publicly uh, as well as privately in our discussions with Congress, but certainly to the American public uh, that, uh, that this is a, a small percentage of the budget, but it, uh, it yields uh, a huge results. Yeah. What about making the case directly to the Republican candidates, recognizing that you don't want to get involved in the campaign? Have you thought about, um, you know, making the same case that you're making to Congress to these people who are wanting to be the next commander in chief and who seem to have outrageously misinformed uh, ideas about um, about what they're talking about? Uh, you know, I'm not aware that we've had any contacts with uh, with any uh, of the, any uh, the candidates. Is there any reason why not? Is it is it is it are you prohibited from doing so because it's a 
it, it, it would it might be seen as being getting involved in a uh, in a political debate, or is uh, is there some other reason? Well, I, I think that uh, you know our focus remains on uh, you know on working with Congress. I mean, that's where the uh, you know that's where the uh, yeah, but that's where the sentiment. That's where these that's where these critics, shall we say, are drawing their. Uh, are drawing their uh, correct, their so that's the appropriate from. place to uh, to engage uh, and uh, and try to change these misperceptions. Yeah, in the back, North Korea. Yeah. Uh, that's no, the, you said North Korea. North Korea. Uh, does the administration have a response or comment in regarding reports of a nearly completed nuclear reactor in DPRK? You're talking about the uh, reports of a. Uh, progress on the light water reactor. Um, you know, we can't talk about uh, uh, possible intelligence matters. Uh, we just uh, would say that uh, that uh, DPRK's, uh, North Korea's uh, uranium enrichment program and construction of a light water reactor violate uh, UN Security Council resolutions, as well as their commitments under the 2005 joint statement. In the back. So do you guys have any concern on the situation, LWL construction situation? On the, I'm sorry, on the Any concern of the United States government on the situation? In North Korea? Yeah. Well, certainly we have concerns. As I said, they're, they're, they appear to be in violation of uh, uh, any uh, construction of a light water reactor would uh, violate uh, existing UN Security Council resolutions. So, uh, you know, certainly we're concerned about the matter and call on them to uh, live up to their commitments in the 2005 joint communique. Is that Thank it? You. No, no. Yeah, sure, man. Um, just on the Israeli-Palestinian thing, um, are you aware of the? Uh, there were some arrests today, some American citizens in a protest, a uh, pro-Palestinian protest. Are you, you aware of that at all? Where? At least two Americans. Um, I don't know exactly where it was, but it was <clears throat> on a bus. There, people are calling themselves Freedom Riders. Um, I'm sorry, Matt. You're talking about in the U.S. or in Israel? In Israel. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not aware of it. I'll uh, can you look into it? <clears throat> Apparently, there were at least two Americans who were arrested. Okay. Um, and then also on this, um, any any uh, any breakthrough from the uh, from the quartet meeting? Uh, Have the Israelis mm -hmm. and Palestinians come back to you with their little plans in hand, <coughs> ready for this big next meeting in in December? Uh, again, I think uh, you know I don't have any updates from yesterday. Uh, you know, they we continue to talk about, uh, as we said yesterday, these uh, proposals, uh, but uh, you know, not, nothing to update. You know, our what we want to do is obviously work to get these guys back into uh, direct negotiations. Thank you. Thanks.